Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, New Shepard plans Mission 24. EAA cites Raptors, Vipers, and Ghosts for AirVenture 2024. International Council of Air Shows reviews year. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. New Shepard plans Mission 24. Originally scheduled for today, Monday, December 18th at 8.30 CST, New Shepard's 24th mission launch is now TPD. Having been scrubbed due to a, quote, ground system issue, the team is troubleshooting, end quote. They expect to set a new launch target for this week. The West Texas launch site will be home to a stream featuring the takeoff, showing a fully laden New Shepard take to the skies to rack up its scientific payload count. Once in flight, it will have brought more than 150 projects into space, with the narrow majority of them being sourced from NASA programs. The rest are a mix, some from K-12 schools, colleges, and STEM groups. Blue Origin remains proud of their oxygen-hydrogen fuel system, particularly its efficient burn and singular byproduct, safe, standard water. The program's dry mass is reusable, too, with 99% recycled after each mission. The booster, capsule, engine, landing gear, and even parachutes can continue to serve after a single mission, offering cost and material savings. No word on what the roster of experiments is for Mission 24, or whether or not the Shepard will be hauling up thousands of postcards from the company's nonprofit Club for the Future. The Postcards to Space program has been continually popular in the company, offering students a chance to own a piece of genuine space material after their postcards are taken up on a launch and sent back to them. And after the break, Sierra Space Dream Chaser enters final test campaign. I grew up in an aviation family. My dad flew airplanes and flew air shows, actually. So ever since I was three years old, the only thing I've ever wanted to do was be an air show pilot. It's cliche, but I get to live my dream every single day. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, the new aerobatic propeller. It's increased the performance of the airplane. It's made the harmonics balance throughout the airplane so much better. By far the best aerobatic propeller that I've ever flown behind. Coming to Sun and Fun's 50th fly-in celebration, Trace Atkins for an opening day concert. I've told the war since I was a kid between Jesus and John. Don't miss Trace Atkins with special guest Sarah Evans. Ponytail girl grown up to be a woman, now she's gone and I'm blinking an eye. Get your tickets now and be a part of the kickoff celebration for Sun and Fun's 50th fly-in. Go to flysnf.org. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Sierra Space Dream Chaser enters final test campaign. Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, the quote, world's only commercial space plane, end quote, has begun its final testing phase ahead of planned operations in 2024. Dream Chaser nestled into the NASA test facility to join Sierra's cargo module, the Shooting Star. Both will be unified in a launch stack for testing in the coming weeks, evaluating their resilience to forces, vibration, and wear. NASA's Mechanical Vibration Facility will provide rigorous testing to emulate the, quote, extreme conditions of launch vibrations, end quote, using a large shaker table. Southwest added to Thrive Aviation Pipeline. Thrive Aviation announced a new partnership with Southwest Airlines, allowing graduates to head into the carrier's Destination 255-degree Pilot Pathways program. The program works in the usual cadet program manner, with students working their way through their ratings, instructing, and time building in order to become an SWA FO in as little as four years. Those timelines are always subject to student loads, however, and time building is always the name of the game. Elixir Aircraft's Glass Panel LSA Approved in EU Elixir Aircraft has obtained EASA certification for its Elixir planes boarding a full glass cockpit layout. 
The new panel sports dual G3X touchscreens, a GTN 750XI, and GNC 355A comms and nav backup unit. Worldwide head of sales Mike Tonkin explains, quote, With this new flight deck configuration now certified, the Elixir corresponds perfectly for the global flight training market. As we know, the aging single-engine piston fleet needs replacing globally, end quote. Japan Airlines ferries A350-1000 home. Japan Airlines has accepted its first A350-1000 from the Airbus Delivery Center in Toulouse, France. The new plane sports a four-class layout that, quote, has been designed to make passengers immerse in the elegance of Japanese aesthetics and tranquility, with a, quote, serene ambiance that highlights the beauty of Japan, end quote. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. EAA cites Raptors, Vipers, and Ghosts for AirVenture 2024. A bevy of military aircraft demo teams and a unique private jet group have been added to the airshow lineup for EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2024. The 71st edition of EAA's fly-in convention will be held from July 22nd to the 28th. AirVenture 24 has received commitments from the F-22 Raptor demo team, the F-16 Viper demo team, and the F-35B Lightning demo team from the U.S. Marine Corps. In addition, the Polaris Ghost Squadron has confirmed an appearance at Oshkosh following popular aerial demonstrations in 2022 and 23. The Vipers and Lightnings will put on multiple shows throughout the week, with the F-22 team there on opening day until the 25th. The Polaris gents will be around from the 22nd through the 24th. Their steeds will be on display around Air Ventures Boeing Plaza during their downtime. Rick Larson, EAA Vice President of Communities and Member Programs, who coordinates Air Venture features and attractions, said, quote, The entire spectrum of aviation comes to Oshkosh, and jet demonstrations are always among the popular displays throughout the week. These commitments are in addition to the already announced participation of the Canadian Forces Snowbirds, which will make 2024 an unforgettable year on the Oshkosh flight line, and there's still more to come, end quote. And after these messages, International Council of Airshows reviews year. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. International Council of Airshows reviews year. The recent International Council of Airshows convention brought out the best and brightest in the field, setting a quote positive tone for the upcoming North American airshow seasons in 2024 and beyond, end quote. The convention was held at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas with about 1,500 attendees present. That number included 781 event organizers from 188 distinct air shows, primarily from the U.S. and Canada. The schedule for the next air show season in North America was largely solidified throughout the four-day conference, with announcements filling the wire throughout the week. The Canadian Forces Snowbirds, the RCAF CF-18 Hornet demonstration, the USAF A-10, F-16, F-22, and F-35A, the Marine Corps MV-22 and F-35B teams have all put their calendars together. The Army's Golden Knights, the Italians' Frecce Tricolori, the Blue Angels, and the Thunderbirds also finalized their dates. The Thunderbirds and Blue Angels went one step further, putting out their 2025 schedules too. A long list of awards rounded out the conference with the 2023 ICAST Sword of Excellence, Arschel Memorial Showmanship Award, Dick Schramm Memorial Community Relations Award, and Bob Hoover Wingman Award being given out to their designated winners. Inductions to the Airshow Hall of Fame took place too, adding to the pantheon of aerobatic performers. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.